Hey, we were Israel United oh, Christ. Sure we are a faith-based organization started by Bishop Nathaniel of uh, Israel United Christ in head part of New York City in 2003. But well, we teach, we teach that the so-called Black Spanish Day of Earth, we teach that we are the Israelites. So, I'm going to read the scripture, I'm going to ask y'all a question. Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. If a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing and is a witness whether he has seen or known of it. Give me John 8, 32 real quick. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. So Christ said we should know the truth, free. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth of the Bible is going to make us free. Because as so-called black men, what do we face in street for news now? All across America, the young black man is doing what? Killing each other. Killing each other, right? Why are we killing each other at a longer rate as black men? We don't see the Chinese man doing the same thing, right? The white man, right? We have lost identity who we are as a people. So we got to bring back our identity. Give me your 88 right quick. The change starts with finding yourself. We've got to know where we come from. Some people say I'm African American. Some people say I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Kemet. Some people say I'm Egyptian, Negro, so forth and so on. We got a, a room full of men in here. Everybody got a different nationality for themselves. Read this. Job chapter 8, verse 8. For I inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So God commands us to go into the former age. So today, we're going to go into this Bible. The Bible is black history. We didn't have black history month. But we have black history 365 days a year if you pick up this Bible and read it. Read. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. We have to go to the search of our fathers. And we ask y'all a question. Who is our fathers that we're supposed to search out? Y'all know who our forefathers are? Who in here know where we come from as a people? Anybody? Give me a Let me show you. The Bible was written to a specific people as a specific group of people as a rule and guidelines to follow. But us following the God's guidelines, we have to discard as a people. Give me Luke 1 6. Luke chapter 1. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So God says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel's name was Jacob. Previous until God changed his name. Israel is the forefather of the so-called Black and Spanish Native Americans today. The descendants of the Israelites are still here. We are the Israelites. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He had redeemed us. He redeemed us out of Egypt. Y'all, I know y'all know the ancient uh, Egyptians are Africans, dark people like us. But we are different people. But they had us in slavery during the time that Moses came in and took us out. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us. And God has raised up a savior for us. Y'all gotta think about it. Don't we need a savior today? Don't we every so often we had to march and say, hands up, don't shoot. I'm a man, right? We do this every year. We have what? The Trayvon Mars, the uh Eric Gardeners. The George floors, all these things continue to happen to us until we repent as Israelites. God is trying to give us a wake up call who we are in these last days. In the house of his servant David, huh? as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So, since the world began, since the book of Genesis, Moses prophesied of the Israelites having a savior coming to redeem them in the last days. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we're going to be saved from our enemies. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. And everybody that hates us, God's going to deal our punishment on those people for oppressing his people and killing us. So all these people that got out not guilty, God's going to judge them in these last days. All right, so let me ask y'all a question. So nobody know where we come from. We're going to go to the Bible where we are as a people. Right? Let me show you. Image is important. Give me hope down three or four real quick. But some people say, color don't matter. Color don't matter. Let me ask you a question. What does, hey, young brother, what does Christ look like? What does Jesus look like? You all know? You know what Jesus is like, bro? Anybody know what Jesus is like? All right, let me show y'all. Guess what? Guess what? Me growing up, right, I thought Jesus was a white man. You know why? Because I have books like this. My mama used to read to me. The school gave these type of books to me, right? This is called the Bible for the first heroes, devotion, right? One big story, right? 
we see this. So, as young black men growing up, we have a low self-esteem about ourselves. We think that white men is better than us. Because on TV, they portray us as thugs, gangsters, the only thing we can do is dribble ball or rap, right? But we much greater than this. They, uh, hey, I guess this start with slavery. We're much greater than what they show us on TV. Just for instance, today, how many people know that we invented almost everything that's used today? The stoplights, the electronics, the computers, the cell phones, the uh, closed captions, the recordings. Our people did all these great things, but they failed to tell us this in school so we could feel low about ourselves. Read this. Hosea chapter 3, verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. So God says the children of Israel, his chosen people, shall abide many days without a what? Without a king. Without a king. We, we've been in America voting every year. We're looking for a king, for a president to save us. We have one black president. I'm going to ask y'all, what did that change for us? Because God said we got to stop leaning on to man. We got to start leaning to him by finding some men free. And without a prince. Uh -huh. and, with, and without a sacrifice. Uh -huh. And without an image. Without a what? An image. Without an image. We have lost our, our true godly image. We are made in the image of God. Let me tell y'all what. The first man on this earth was a so-called black man. Let me give you the Genesis 2 real quick. Let me give you the Genesis 2 Let me give y'all another rundown. Y'all got to think about it. We are melanated people, right? Have y'all seen two white people produce any black people? Y'all seen black people produce many shades of people, right? So let me know, you know, so a lot of people say we the first original people. True. It's our forefathers right here. Read this. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And God formed man of the dust of the ground. What comes the dust of the ground, young brother? Dust is what color? Right? It's black. Right? The dark hey, the, the, the deep you get, the dark it gets. So the first man, Adam, was a so-called black man. Breathe. From the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And he gave Adam the laws of God. The laws of God been here from the beginning. So, we're going to get what the uh, Bible says about the skin complexion of Jesus Christ. We're going to get what Jesus is like. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. And this is why it's important for us to know. Because Christ said something back in Matthew 24. Hold this, get that real quick. Get this real quick. Christ warned his chosen people. He said, hey, in the last days, there's going to be many false Christ. I said, I'm Christ, I'm Christ. Who came without Christ? We see this image, right? Christ is telling us about a false Christ. Because the Bible never... Uh, depicts a so-called Caucasian Jesus. The Bible always depicts the Israelites of being black people. Read that. Matthew chapter 24 verse 5. For many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. And this is the Roman son uh, the, what the sixth pope the son wrote Alexander VI right? Leonardo da Vinci and uh, the painted his boyfriend as the image of Christ. During the Renaissance period, they came back to so-called white man painting over the images of the black images. Because you got a book called the Russian Icons. They showing us ruling over the Russia, showing us ruling over the Spain, right? So they had took they took out and whitewashed our images. Go ahead. And said deceive me. And we deceived. A lot of people don't know what Jesus looked like. Or they think it's not important. But it's important because God said to tell them what he looks like in the last days. Go back to Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible is saying Jesus' head and his hair mean his beard because it's a law in the Bible that an Israelite man must have a beard. They were white and woolly. Young brother, what the text is woolly? Do you, is your hair woolly? Or is it shrinking? Woolly. So Christ had woolly hair. What, type, what race of people have woolly hair on this earth? You know, hey, right. drunk black people, right? They, guess what? Long time ago, we used to hate ourselves. Matter of fact, our women still some of our sisters hate their hair test. They, they go and uh, dye their hair. They, they perm and press not because they have betrayed the Europeans betrayed their stuff is pretty. But the Bible said that the Israelite woman is the most beautiful woman in the world. Right? So we got to love our hair that God gave us because God in Christ has woody hair. Read. As white as snow. It was fully white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now we all know some older brother in here that got White beard, right? A white beard and a white hair. And his eyes was a flame of fire. Why do y'all think his eyes was a flame of fire? The whites of his eyes. Who drank wine in here? Who 
drank wine? Y'all get drunk, but who drank a little bit of wine? Because Christ did. Christ drank wine in moderation. Genesis is going to tell you that. Genesis, Christ come in the volume of the book. Read it. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. So Christ's eyes shall be red with wine. His first miracle was what? Turn the water into wine. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 1, <laughs> Go ahead. verse 14. Three. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Woolly. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Three. And his feet, now we're going to get to a description of your skin. He said, in his feet, because Christ don't want sinners in the back of the day, right? If I looked at your feet, if you took your shoes off, would your feet look similar to your, the rest of your, would it match your face? Would it match your arms? Three. His feet like unto fine bread. His feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, young man? Brass. B R A S S. Brass. 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 Not brass. Brass. <laughs> brass. Think about it. Who, who got an old rusty penny? Brass is brown. It's derived from brown, right? So, wait a minute. If Christ had woolly hair and brown skin, where we get this image from? False Christ. False Christ has. Look, we got an image right here. This bark grass right here. Right here. Look, see this black man, so-called black man? See, it's lining up with the scriptures, right? As if they burn in a furnace. But it's so dark, he had his feet burned in a fire. You burn anything, what color it turns out? Black. So what color the Bible saying Jesus is? Black. Now, let's get his, let's get his great ancestor, King Solomon. Who knew about King Solomon, King David? King Solomon was the most wealthiest, wisest king on the earth. He wrote a lot of these uh, things called Proverbs, right? And the Psalms. Let's see what his ancestors look like. Read verse 1. Verse 1. The Song of Songs. Oh, this is Song of Songs. Which is Solomon. So Solomon wrote this. Read. Verse 5. I am black. King Solomon said, I am black. But come. He said, I'm black and handsome. Black, come to me. I'm black and handsome. So we must teach our kids these things. You know what I'm saying? If we don't teach our kids this, they feel less about themselves. They got to know they come from the bloodline of Jesus Christ. Right? What the Bible said about the rest of the Jews? Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. We got to get our identity back. It's all about restoring your identity. Many days we're not out of our image. Now our young kids go around talking about they thugs and gangsters. They're not thugs and gangsters. You know They're the guys on the earth and come back to God in law. Read. To the morning. God says the Jews are immortal. Read. In the gates they are of land. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. God says the Jews are black unto the ground. Just like in Genesis 2 and 7. They look like the same skin complexion like the ground. Right? Give me one more scripture right quick. Give me Job 30 and 30. Because Hey, previous, like six years ago, I can identify with the word of God. When I tried to read the Bible, it was like reading Chinese. I couldn't put, I couldn't see myself in the Bible because growing up, I had all these so-called white images in my head. I thought about a blonde hair uh, and blue-eyed Jesus. I thought about all the angels being white and butt naked. You know what I'm saying? You want to know why? Let me have a Go ahead. You want to know why? People paint Jesus as white. If you notice, you ever notice a Santa Claus white? Right. Jesus white. Right. You ever notice the white they say pure? Mm -hmm. Reason why they portray Jesus as a white man and a Santa Claus so that they can feel they dehumanize black people's minds, strip their mind. Why? Because they want us to think they are superior mm -hmm. over us. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got white Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus, which Jesus was a black man. That's right, that's right. That was your birthday. It didn't be black. Start out in the average. Hey, the past is 100% correct. Watch this, I'm going to show you something. When you turn on the TVs, what do you see our young men portrayed as? The only thing you can do is go up and dunk the ball, or you can run the football, or guess what? You are game bank. You got men that's 40, 50 years old wanting to be rappers. Right. Wanting to be rappers. Goes back to the pastor, what he was saying. Imagery is very important. Very important. Yeah. Like, give, me, give me that white Christ and the black Christ again. This is not no coincidence. Because if I was to tell you that Obama was a, 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 a white man, you'd be ready to fight. Obama was a black man. Obama was a black man. Martin Luther King was a black man. If I was to tell you that Martin Luther King or Malcolm
Malcolm X was a white man, it'll be a problem. But guess what? We should have that same with this man. The image of Christ is in the Bible. The Bible says Jesus Christ was a black man with woolly hair. That's right. Those are facts. But have anybody questioned this in most of your churches? This guy right here is a real man. I teach his man. Hey, they all praise it. This guy is not. This is the beast. This is the beast right here. So imagery, if it doesn't matter what Jesus Christ looked like, then why paint this image? Because guess what? It's very important. You take away our king, this black image, according to Revelations 1 and 14, and you give us this. You give us this. Like the pastor was saying, then we look at the white man as God. That's not according to scripture. That is fake. That is fake. So we should have that same, if I was to tell you that Malcolm X was a white man, you should be upset. But we should have that same with this. That Jesus Christ was a black man and the officer just proved it in Revelation 1 and 14. Matter of fact, give me one more. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2 real quick. Let's see what color is the Jews. One thing you're going to learn about us, we're going to prove everything out of the Bible. That's right. Hey, before I came, before I understood this, I thought the people of God was white. Think about it. Where's Jerusalem at? Where's the location? Africa. It's in Africa. The people in Africa are what color? Majority are black. Watch this. Let's see what color is the Jews. You know, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning, and the gates there are language. Our leaders, we don't have any leaders. That's why when things happen in our community, what we do? We go march down the street. No justice, no peace. And I'm going to show you how we destroy it. Let another black man from another street come and do you wrong. What you going to do? You going to shoot up the whole block. You going to shoot up the whole block. Let that one individual do That other race do you like that. You want to march in the street. No justice, no peace. Bring it on. And then he go upside your head again. Wait, just give it some time. There's going to be another shooting here, shoot, shot. And we're going to be marching the street. Black lives matter. If black lives truly matter, where was uh, 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 the uproar when, uh, give me some black man, Ray Ray shot Pookie. Right. Where was the uproar? We should be mad. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Not Trayvon Martin. I'm talking about black on black crime. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm black on black crime, not yeah. white on white. But keep going. Let's get back to it. They are black unto the ground. The Jews are what? Black unto the ground. The Bible says the true Jews are black unto the ground. Right out of the scripture. Right so, who are the people over there in Israel saying they are Jews? Matter of fact, don't even call they say I'm Jewish. That's right. I'm Jewish. If I say I'm blackish, what that mean? Right. Something like, but not somewhat to that. You know what? I'm, I'm Jewish. Israeli. Israeli. Who are they? The Bible says, God says, I'm going to bring the Israelites back in their land. So, who put the Jewish man back in their land? The United Nations. They put them in the land to do what? To set up the image that they are the people of God. You know? And, hey, y'all. It's time to wake up. We are the people. And what the brothers is going to come out, they're going to bring you facts. Now, hey, granted, all we're here to do is show you. And the Bible, give me that, uh, choice no man, Jeremiah. Yep, not Jeremiah. Uh, yep. Jeremiah. Watch this. What we're going to do, we're going to give it to on you to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. That's what we're here to do. We're not going to force feed you. We're just going to give the facts. Then it's on the people to decide for themselves. If these brothers tell the truth, uh, then what is it going? And you'll see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man. The Bible says, Cursed be the man that trusted in man. If I'm putting everything in what you saying and don't bag it up with facts and don't go do my research, God says you are cursed. And make it flesh his own. Right. Because we want you to go do the research. That's what we're here for. But we want you brothers to be like, let me go check out and see these brothers tell the truth. And then you will see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Go ahead. I'll pray. You made an instant point. And we gotta have the same energy when we kill down when we shoot down each other. Hey, the man, hey, the blacks don't call black man. 
We got to rise up and take back our communities with the word of God. We got to be afraid of these kids. We got to put these little kids in their place. But guess what? God gave us this Bible to show us how to guide our kids from the youth up. We got to try our kids young. Hey, our men got to start our marrying our women. We're going to get back to the curse real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Now, let me show y'all something. Now, we've seen what the Jews look like. This Bible is going to prove that we all the Israelites. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Anybody know, first of all, anybody know about the story of Moses leading the Israelites out of Egypt? Who know about that? Moses in the Red Sea. Y'all know about that? They, they play a movie called Ten Commandments every Easter time, right? Charles and Heston. Hey, the Egyptians, hey, even the, the Egyptians portrayed as white people, right? They not portraying the Egyptians as being uh, white because the Egyptians are great. They doing that because they knew Moses raised as a, as a uh, Egyptian. He could pass for an Egyptian because of skin complexion. The Israelites, the reason, the real reason why they uh, they whitewash out of history because they don't want you know how great you are. Deuteronomy twenty eight and verse fifteen. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse fifteen. Now this is Moses talking to the children of Israel after leading them out of Egypt. Y'all gotta remember, God smote down the firstborns of Egypt for His people. God said, I give people for your rest. He loves so much, read. But it shall come to pass. But he says, should come to pass. He says, it's going to happen in the future, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you don't obey God's voice, God's voice is his Bible, his laws. Y'all don't listen to what I'm telling y'all, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. He says, if you don't do all God's commandments, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, all these curses will sue his chosen people. He said, all these evil things are going to happen to y'all if y'all don't keep my commandments. Jump down to verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And God says the curse is going to be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. What does the sign let you know? You got a barbershop sign outside let you know it's a barbershop. You got a Walmart sign outside of Walmart let you know it's Walmart. So these signs are going to identify the true Israelites in these last days. Because he knew the history was going to be whitewashed. Read. And upon that seed forever. And this is how we know it's bringing up the day to put your seed, your kids forever. Y'all heard the generation curses. We poor. Hey, we come in, hey, come in poor, we go out broke. You know what I'm saying? This the Bible is a true book. Read verse 16. Yo, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. God says the chosen people's gonna be cursed in the city. If I'm cursed in the city, give me some signs that we might be cursed in the city. Because if you blessed in the city, what would you be leaving in? You'll be leaving in a server, the mantis. Yo, yo, careers to be free of uh, uh, violence. So the Israelites are cursed in the city. That's why we got the gunplay every day. We got the drugs. We got the hatred. We got all these piss broken dishes. We got the broken bottles because we curse in the city. Guess what? A black man is cursed in the city of Chicago. A young brother got shot last night. We curse in New Orleans, right? No matter what. Guess what? Some of us still over the earth. And guess what? They getting oppressed over there. Haiti, that so-called black country, they still oppressed. Jamaica, that's the tribe of Benjamin, they still oppressed. So no matter where we end this world, these curses are going to follow us until we repent. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. And he says, and curse shall be in the field. Think about the time period he was cursed in the field. This is black history. They don't teach this in school. Y'all heard about uh, slavery in schools? Y'all heard about slavery? They take down the school today because they know the Israelites are waking up. Yo, man, you commit a crime, you still a slave. Go to prison, go there and go. You're going to work for free. You're going to work for free, you're going to be in America coming up for free. It's like right. you got some kind of prison pipeline to keep us destroyed. That's why they spent billions of dollars to pay rappers to rap about killing each other. I read. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given into another people. Now, this is for these older people. I know y'all have seen Roots, 12 years of slavery. Hey, you remember know Roots? But uh, kids got sold. Yep. What did Kunta do? Kunta do no more try to file, man. Kunta was a Kunta. Hey, was, hey, was Kunta prime? Huh? Was Kunta prime and begging? Yeah, he was. He was like, Master, Master, please, please. Please. I do anything. But can he stop? No. Nope. What did the Bible say? Giving it to another people. He said, giving it to another people, meaning another race of people. Now, we stand right now. We started on the like Israelites. Because who else been through the same atrocity we went through? We was giving it to another race of people. Right. And we got the same race of people names on us today. Read. And thine eyes shall look 
and fail with longing for them all the day long. That's the crime. So please, please. Hey, even for your state, the sisters cry all day long. Well, we couldn't do nothing about it. We was a slave. Right? And there should be no might in thine hand. We ain't had no military might, no physical might. God put these curses upon us to, to jack us up and get our mind right now. We couldn't do anything. We had no 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 uh, bank might. We couldn't buy ourselves. A few of us made to free ourselves, but as a whole, they weren't giving us away. Verse 37. And that should become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations when the Lord shall lead thee. God says we're gonna become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. Be astonishment. Every 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 nation of people, no matter where we got a, a word for the N-word, they call us coddles, they call us uh all type of evil names, right? Be astonished, we a byword. We call outside our God given names today. God calls us the true Negro, Benjamin, Gad, Levi, Vanessa, so forth and so on. Now we be African American, be colored, be Johnson, be Walkers, be Bills, you know what I'm saying? Be all these different names. Be everything but the children of God. This right here is the 12 tribes of Israel today. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Massachusetts, They are still here today. We are, we are the people. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. God said, oh, jump to verse 47. Gotta get this point. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. God said, because we didn't serve him for the abundance of all things. God said he created this whole earth for the Israelites' sake. Guess what? We're supposed to own everything. We're supposed to own this earth and everything in it. But guess what? It's going to come to that point again once you repent as nation of Israel when Christ is going back to redeem us. We're going to own everything again. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy? We want to be like the nation serve false gods. We're going to have to serve our what? Thine enemy. Because your friend's not going to come and pack you up and separate you from your family. Your friend's not going to put you on no slave ship. Your friend's not going to put no yoke of iron around your neck like you're an animal. Right? How you animal will still, will still rape you? Mm -hmm. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Yes, who? The Lord shall send against thee. Y'all, God put a spirit upon people. When we out of mind, God put a spirit on other nations as a belt to get us to get our mind right. Guess what? If you ain't committed no crime, you shouldn't worry about police. I feel confident the police get behind me. Hey, hey, my registration is good, my license is good, I ain't got a leak of drugs. I'm right with God. I'm following the laws of man because it's the laws of God. So those other nations are meant to be your be your punishment. You got a line, you got something to fear. Read in hunger. And hunger, he said we're gonna have to serve this nation of people in hunger. Let me ask y'all a question. Who can go to a so-called black owned uh supermarket? We got one around here? Nope. Damn. We used to have a bank. We used to have a bank, right? Hey, we gonna get that too. That's, that's the point. But now we can't build, even if we are reform, we don't want to reform. We can't provide for each other. Read? And in thirst. And in thirst. Hey, he goes so far in thirst. Who on Aquafina? The sunny. Great value water. Who controls the water supply? The rain drops freely from the sky, but they said we have to pay for it. Hey, try to catch rainwater for free. They're going to give you a ticket or take you to jail in some states. Read. And then nakedness. He says the nakedness, that means it's going to your very clothes and your back. Can't, when the last time you ever go to a black owned store and buy your, buy your clothes? No. Granted, like Sean John, uh, Puffy, what's, what's his name? Uh, Michael Jordan. They own these brands, right? But they don't produce those raw textiles. We don't produce none of that stuff. Read. And in want of all things, he says we're going to serve this nation of people in want of all things. Your drive license, your, drive license, your birth certificate, your religion, your name, your death certificate, your tax, right? You can own a house, right? You can have that house paid off. But even your land, if you don't pay no tax, what's going to happen? They're going to take it. They're going to take it. So, that's not freedom. That's not freedom. It's showing us this place is not for us. This is not our rest. We have to come back as Israelites to get up out this hell. That's right. And he should put a yoke of iron in who? And he, and he, God is very specific. He said, and he, a man, not the, not the little red devil on the ground, but he should put a yoke of iron. These are those yoke of iron upon our neck on the chosen people of God for disobedience. This right here is black history. This is Bible history. You cannot, uh, cannot deny these facts. The Bible was written over 3,000 years ago. It came to pass. The Bible is prophetic. Read. Yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh -huh. Until he have destroyed. Until he will have been destroyed. Abraham needed so called freedoms, right? Mm -hmm. But we was destroyed. We ain't go no work. What, what did we have to go? We felt like we had to slay on the uh, plantation. We were free.
free. You just started fucking. They said we was free, right? But guess what? Even that, that proclamation didn't free the slaves no more. They was at war with each other. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a history teacher, hey, the white people they care about y'all. They fought for the free. You know what I mean? It was a war. It's all about tripling the South economy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all understand that they, y'all don't got some kind of Thirteenth Amendment. You still a slave. You are a prison. You ain't got no rights. We still three fifths of man in the United States Constitution. We ain't even citizens. We citizens. Let you know we don't belong here. Read verse forty nine. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. And God says, I'm gonna send a nation against you from far. They gonna come to the other side, come with ships. Read a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. Them dudes came from. Hey, guess what? The northern, the northern kingdom was over. They came from Europe over here. Spain, they come to us, they came to the west coast of Africa where the Jews had uh, started civilizing. We got in the book where we went to the west of Africa. That's why we was older because we fled people, fled from the so-called white man then, the Romans. Read. A nation whose tongue thou should not understand. We didn't understand no Spaniard, no Greek, no Portuguese. Read. A nation of fierce county and a nation of fierce kind of had a fierce look that was so wicked people, the Bible was telling you. Tell me that's not a first nation that could cut a pregnant woman belly open, split her open, and feed it to dogs. Feed our babies as alligator babies. That was took you as a baby and threw you in the water as alligator babies. You heard about that. Yep. This don't happen. We even got things called uh, human purses. Yep. Human, human shoes. This stuff, they pass down at heirlooms to their kids. Guess what? These same people still here. They still here on this earth. And y'all gotta know who y'all selves are. Y'all can own y'all selves. Y'all pass our mentality crisis play. Mm -hmm. So y'all on the right path. Mm -hmm. By knowing who you are, you will have love for your neighbor. You can't harm your neighbor when you see Christ in them. Go ahead. We should not regard the person of the old. He ain't gonna regard the old. You can be any old man. The little boy call you boy. And the little, the old brother had to look down. Yes, sir. Hey, the old man was out in the field. Read. Nor show favor to the young. And it didn't matter how young you was. You was a slave picking kind of too, little, little brothers, little girls. Hey, they had little girls, had a little, uh, like a little collar around their neck in the movie. They had little kids as, as play animals, right? Mm -hmm. This Bobby, is not happening. This is just the truth. Black power, while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.